when I was five years old watching Apollo 11. It uh, really inspired me just to dream and go beyond Earth and what we could do as explorers. I'm Professor Deva Newman from MIT. I'm a professor of aeronautics and astronautics, and I'm an aerospace biomedical engineer. So this is the biosuit, so it's uh, our latest design. It's a mock-up of a skin-tight spacesuit. It's a completely different design approach. Conventional spacesuits are big gas pressurized shells, about 140 kilos or 300 pounds. We'd like to and change that paradigm, go to a shrink wrapping approach. It's mechanical counter pressure, so I apply the pressure directly through the materials. It starts with the white material, that's pretty you know, stretchy. Think of the black lines, if you will, as kind of an internal skeleton. And then there's some, some gold lines in here as well, and those would be where active materials, say for cooling, warm yourself up, cool yourself down a little bit, and then to kind of cinch it up or to do some, um, use, use real active materials. This is just a notionally, you know, you kind of cinch yourself up. Think of this as a smart zipper, if you will. We're enhancing mobility. We're really giving full motion of the arms and the limbs. So it's great for future astronauts on Mars, but it's also great when we think about disease and pathology here on Earth. What I'd love to see would be humans on the surface of Mars walking around in a biosuit. And more importantly than some of the, the spin-offs from our spacesuit design here, enhancing capabilities specifically for children with cerebral palsy. Exploration has always been in my nature and as an engineer I can come up with design solutions to benefit humanity.